Hello, Godinius. Accessing notes is essential for every game created in Godot. But if you're new to Godot, it can be a bit confusing. So we're going to explore how note paths work and how you can get access to other nodes in your scene. At the end, we'll cover a very useful technique which can greatly simplify accessing other nodes and can make your game more robust to changes. This is a beginner level tutorial. It is enough if you can read a bit of GD script to understand the concepts of this video. So we start with a very simple example. Right now we have a player scene. You can see that we have a player node and below the player node there's a sprite node. And what we want to do is we want to change the color of the sprite by changing its modulate property down here. So maybe to red. But we want to do this in a script. So first thing we do is we attach the script to the player node. And then we remove everything that we don't need. And we're going to write our code here in the ready function so it will immediately execute. Okay, so now we want to change the color of the sprite. How do we get access to the sprite? In Godot, there's two ways in which you can get access to another node. One is the get node function, get node. And the other one is the so-called dollar notation. So you can write dollar and something behind it. And these two are the same thing. The dollar notation is just a different way of writing get node. But under the hood, they're exactly the same thing. They do the, exactly the same stuff. So you can use either one. Most people tend to use the dollar notation because it's shorter, but you can use either one. So how do we now get the sprite node? We can write get node. And then we need to write what is called a node path. A node path is, as the name says, a path to a node. And it is always relative to the node where the script is on. Right now, our script is on the player node, so this node path is relative to the player node. We want to have the sprite node, which is below the player node, and we can just write its name. So we can say sprite. Uh, sprite is the name of this node, and that's why get node sprite gives us this sprite node. And now we can write modulate equals color red. Let's try that out. Okay, that works fine. Now, if you want to write this in dollar notation, it is the same process. So you write dollar and then the node path. The node path is the same. So we can just write dollar sprite. Note that with the dollar notation, you don't actually need the quotes all the time. There are some cases where you need the quotes, which we will come to. But for most cases, you can just write the name. Okay, let's try that out. That also works. Now, what would happen if we want to access this sprite node, but it's not directly below the player, but there's a few nodes between them. So let's quickly add a few nodes. So if we run this again, it will not work because now the sprite node is two levels down and it's not directly below the player node anymore. So you get an error invalid set index on null instance. And the interesting part is this on base null instance, which tells you, okay, we tried to write the modulate property on something that was not found, right? The null instance means it couldn't find a node. And now this thing is null. So we need to use another node path. Again, we first start with get node. And you see already how the editor gives us some clues. So we start with node A. And then we write a slash, which means, okay, now find something below node A. And we want to find node B below node A. So that is node B. And another slash, which now means, okay, find something below node B, which is sprite. Let's try if that works. And it works just fine. If you write this in dollar notation, it's basically the same thing. You can write dollar node A slash node B slash sprite. Okay, now the node that we want to pick is not below the current node, but it's rather above it. So let's maybe move the sprite here and move these two nodes below the sprite. And then we put this script on the node B. How would we access the sprite now? 
We cannot write node A, node B because we don't want to go down, we want to go up. There's a special node path built in, the double dot. So again, we write get node, two dots, which means go up one level. So we start at node B, we always start at the node where the script is attached. Double dot means go one node up, so we are now at node A. Then a slash, and we want to go one node up again, so another double dot. Let's try that out. And it also works. And if you write it with the dollar notation, so dollar, double dot, slash, double dot, the GD script compiler is unhappy about it. It says about something expecting a node path. This is one of the cases where you actually need to use the quotes with the dollar notation, as I said earlier, because the GDScript compiler, it cannot know, okay, which, which of these dots now belong to the node path and which belong to the rest of the code. And with the quotes, you can clarify this. You can say, okay, the node path starts here at the first quote and it ends here at the second quote. So now this is the node path. And now the GDScript compiler is happy and we find the node. There's also another way in which you can access nodes that are above you, which is the get parent function. So you can do get parent to get the parent of the current node. So right now we are at node B again, the script is attached at node B. So the parent is node A. And we can just call get parent again. Now we would call get parent on node A, which gives us the sprite. Let's try it out. And this also works. Okay, so now we know how we can find a node below the current node and find a node above the current node. So what about a node that is on the same level? If I move node B up here, how would I find the sprite? You may have already guessed the answer. We can use a combination of both methods. So we can just write get node. We're currently at node B. And what we do first is we go up one level. Now we're at the player node. And now we go down one level again, sprite. So this tells it, okay, go up to the player node and then find the sprite below the player node. Let's try that. And it works just fine. And if you want to use the dollar notation, if you have dots in it, it's a good idea to use quotes. So that also works. There's one more thing, which is what if we want to access the node where the script is at? So if I move this script to the sprite node and I want to access the sprite itself, how would I do that? There's another special node path, which is the dot. So we can do get node dot. And dot means this node. No up, no down, this exact node. Let's try this out. Okay, that works. However, that is a lot to write. There's also a built-in keyword in GDScript which refers to this node. So you can just say self. And self means, okay, use this node. Let's try this out. It also works. The GDScript compiler is actually pretty smart. It can even know that you mean this node without writing self. So you can just leave that out. And it will still work. So now we have found out quite a few ways in which you can write node paths to access nodes that are on the tree. And we also have seen that the node paths are different depending on whether the node you want to access is above, below, or at the same level. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a way that would always work the same way? Because right now, every time we move a node, we need to change the code. If I move this script to the player, I need to change the code. I need to write git node sprite. But if I move the script elsewhere, or if I move the sprite node elsewhere, my script breaks. It's no longer the correct path. So how can we fix that? We can fix that by using a feature called scene unique nodes. We can right click on the sprite node and select this access as unique name option. And you can see the sprite gets a little percent icon. And now what we can do is, instead of writing get node and then some node path to the sprite, we write get node sprite with the percent icon in front of it. Well, let's try it out if that works. Okay, 
And the cool thing about this is that it works no matter where in the tree your sprite is located. So if I put node A here and node B there and the sprite now below this, it still works. If I move this script to node B, it still works. If I move the sprite above node B, it still works. So this notation is really, really useful to access a node without having to think about where the node is in your current scene. And it's also very nice that you can reorder the nodes and you don't need to fix up your scripts. There's also a short notation for this, which is just writing percent sprite. So this is the equivalent to the dollar notation. Again, it's all the same thing. It doesn't matter if you write percent sprite or get node. In the end, everything is a get node. We learned in this video that we can access nodes with the dollar notation and the get node function, both of which are just two different ways to do exactly the same thing. We learned how to build node paths to other nodes and how to pass change when you move the nodes around. We learned that node paths are resolved relative to the node which runs the script. And we learned how seeing unique nodes and the percent notation can simplify node access and make our scripts more robust against changes in the node structure. I hope this has been helpful. If you have additional questions, please post them in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel to get notified when new videos are posted. Thank you very much for watching and happy Godineering!